Hello! Today we're going to talk a little bit about diatomaceous earth. And of course we're speaking of food grade diatomaceous earth. There are several different types of diatomaceous earth. The non-food grade you do not want to be ingesting or breathing. The non-food grade is commonly used by farmers and pools and, believe it or not, the aquarium hobby, the fish trade, where I first discovered it as a kid, diatomaceous earth was used for polishing the aquarium water. But what we're going to be talking about here today <clears throat> is food grade diatomaceous earth. This particular brand, absolutely fantastic, but as you can see, food grade, okay? So, the food grade diatomaceous earth, let's talk a little bit about what it does. Diatomaceous earth, there's a lot of confusion about what it is. Diatomaceous earth is a prehistoric, fossilized algae, I guess you could say, or plankton. So, that aspect of it confuses people. Then there's the aspect where people say that it has sharp edges and that those sharp edges pass through the body and as they pass through the body they cut everything up to shreds and pull it all out of the system when you go to the bathroom. Nothing could be more false and that's the dangerous part, the false information. First, before I confuse you and jump all around because I have that tendency, let me talk a little bit about the benefits of taking diatomaceous earth. There's nothing negative about taking diatomaceous earth. There's something negative about inhaling the powder. Very dangerous. Uh, you do not want to smell diatomaceous earth, food grade or not. What it does is it goes into the lungs and it puts a coating, like a clay coating on your lungs, so you don't take in as much oxygen. It also can encourage, later on down the line, if you're exposed to it on a regular basis, it could encourage lung cancers by harming the cellular structure of the insides of the lungs. So let's, you know, don't inhale it. Okay. Now, diatomaceous earth is one of the world's most incredible detox agents. It's natural, it's already a part of your body. Silica, that's another way to say it. You could just say, I'm going to take silica. The silica is what all your ligaments and constructive tissues and everything, for you to be able to go, eh, all of that, that takes silica, okay? All that? That's silica. Okay, first let's start out. I'm almost 50 years old. Okay? I used to have pain in my fingers. Actually, I always blamed it on my phone from always using my iPhone and stuff and doing this and doing that. After a while, you get, you get pain here, you get pain here and here, and the way you're contorted, it's like a guitarist playing guitar. You get that weird pain here and some pain in your fingers and on the tips. That is all because of a lack of silica. So, if you're young, good example, a newborn baby has pure, 100% unaltered silica going through their body. That's why they look so beautiful. Their faces are plump, they don't have a wrinkle in their body, their skin color is gorgeous. All of that comes from the silica that they have as a baby. So, if you take a supplement of silica, diatomaceous earth, food grade, if you do that, then you're putting silica into your body. Your body needs it uses it, it will use it immediately. The things that you will notice within the first two weeks of taking a teaspoon of diatomaceous earth every day, preferably on an empty stomach in the morning, then have it with a glass of lemon water, because lemon alkalizes the body, that's very important. You will notice almost within two weeks, maybe faster depending on your body, but within two weeks you will notice your nails and your hair. Both of them will grow like crazy. You'll also notice it on your gums and your teeth. Your teeth will start looking whiter, they'll feel stronger. Some of you that might have that tooth or that one area in your mouth where cold water, uh, you can feel it, it kind of gives you that freak, that'll go away. There are a lot of things that it'll fix. Okay, so that's that. That's just one of many. Next, there's a lot of um, <clears throat> issues right now going on with SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. As we know, we have two intestines, we have an upper and a lower. The upper is basically a canine intestine, okay? We are omnivores. So your upper intestine is designed specifically for breaking down and digesting meats and things like that. The lower intestine, the fermentating aspects, 
that's where everything like fruit and vegetables and everything that's broken down goes down there and all the bacteria jump on it and then they pass it on through and you get rid of it, okay? So, the small intestine, the upper intestine, is very susceptible for the bacteria that's down here to work its way up. And that is probably the number one cause in America today for the average American. They have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. People who have SIBO will have lots of issues after they consume carbohydrates in any form or any type of sugars. That's something you need to avoid almost completely. Actually, to be honest with you, sugar is probably the most evil thing on the planet. So, with all the processed foods and all the things that we're dumping in our bodies all the time, we're putting an enormous amount of toxins, which is what creates body fat, puts that coating over your abs and all that kind of stuff. That's all toxins. That's your body not knowing how to get rid of it, doesn't know what to do with it, so it stores it into the fat cells on your body. So you're walking around with it all the time. Mercury, E. coli, bad bacteria, all of that kind of stuff. It's all in your body. Diatomaceous earth food grade will get rid of that stuff. It's crazy, and it works fast. It really does. Now, the rumors and urban legends and the misinformation come about for how diatomaceous goes about doing all these things. Candida, yeast, all of this stuff. Bad bacteria of any kind, it gets rid of it. How does it get rid of it? First, let's talk about the rumor and the urban legends and the false information. Most people will tell you, and a lot of stuff that you'll read online, will say that diatomaceous earth does all these wonderful, beautiful things and takes care of your body, makes your skin look healthier, makes your hair grow faster, makes your nails look better, detoxes your body, and all that great stuff. It does all of that because the diatoms are so sharp and they're fossilized. They have these razor-sharp edges all over them. They're silica. After all, glass is silica. It's made out of that. So when it passes through the body and the system, including the mouth and the throat and all that stuff, it just scrapes. It just starts ripping all that bad negative stuff out of your body, and then you just poop it all out. That's how you get rid of it, right? Wrong. I love that story. That's a great story, and that's why it's persisted since the 60s. That's pretty much the story that you're told about how diatomaceous works since the 60s. So if you're still hearing that story, you're hearing bad information. The truth is, it doesn't matter though, it still does all the same good stuff. It doesn't matter how it works, the fact is that it works. I mean, when I originally got into diatomaceous earth, I got into it because of the scraping and cleaning out my colon. I thought that was awesome. But the reality is, diatomaceous earth, a lot like clay, dries everything out. And this is a fact. It simply dries it out. If you put it in a glass with just a little teeny bit of water, diatomaceous earth, it'll turn into like a clay, like a thick putty, okay? That putty coats viruses, parasites, worms. We're talking tapeworms, pinworms, all those intestinal worms and stuff, all that stuff. It gets rid of all of that because it coats it. It puts like a coating, almost like fried chicken, which is so bad for you, but it puts that coating over the meat, right? Crusty little coating. That coating, in turn, prevents the parasites, the bad bacteria, and all that kind of stuff from gaining any moisture. So they dehydrate and they die. Now these are things that have very, very fast metabolisms. So they will dry out very quickly. It's not like us, where if we're in the desert with no water for a few days, you know, uh, it takes time. Uh, things in your gut, if you cause them to dry out, within a matter of hours and days, it'll all be dead. Now, the cool part is, this is where the... Um, debate about how it works should be settled. Okay, very simple. How would diatomaceous earth know to scrape out the bad stuff and not scrape out the good stuff? That's where that argument falls apart, that it scrapes. It doesn't scrape. It covers, it coats, it dehydrates, it pulls it out. Now, this is how it works on the bad bacteria in your body and not the good. How it works on the bad is it coats it, dries it out, Bacteria dies and is expelled, right? Okay. That's kind of how it works. The good bacteria is not susceptible to being dried out. So when you consume diatomaceous earth, you're killing the bad and you're keeping the good. That's how it works. Now, the other part that causes a lot of confusion is <clears throat> getting rid of it. And this is where most people make the mistake and why a lot of people think that the diatomaceous earth they tried at one time didn't work. They felt sick, or they got nauseous, or headaches, whatever. You're going to get that. The reason is because your body's detoxing. 
No, it does not get pooped out. I'd love to tell you that it scrapes it and pulls it all out of the body, but it doesn't work that way. As I said, it coats it, dehydrates it, and it dies, and then it's absorbed into the body. That's not good. So when you take diatomaceous earth or detox, with a lot of good, when you go to the dentist and you work on your gums, all that bacteria comes out, and then you swallow that saliva, you get a cold a few days later. You get a massage, deep tissue massage, yep, a couple of days later you'll get deathly sick if you didn't drink enough water to flow out the toxins. So, one, drink plenty of water when you're doing diatomaceous earth. Accept the fact that you're going to feel a little weird. You're going to have all this horrible, nasty crap getting into your bloodstream, and it's going to put an enormous amount of, whew, man, it puts a lot of strain on your liver and your kidneys, okay? So all of that's going to have to, it's going to have to work a whole lot harder to get rid of all that stuff. So you can help it out a great deal by something very simple. Activated carbon. The same carbon you use for a fish tank to keep your water clean. Activated carbon, maybe about a teaspoon and a glass of water, with your diatomaceous earth. When the diatomaceous earth dries everything out and kills it, the carbon absorbs it, and then you get rid of the carbon. So the carbon is like a sponge, sucking up all that bad stuff, and then you're getting rid of it. So that's how that all works. <clears throat> so, to recap on this whole thing, diatomaceous earth is fantastic. It will change your life, and I promise you this, it will change your life. You have arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, headaches, bad skin, wrinkles, all of this stuff. Your hair's falling out, your hair feels thin and flimsy, you got ripples in your nails, your nails break easily, they don't grow fast enough. All of these things can be corrected by properly taking diatomaceous earth. My recommendation is to take one teaspoon a day for about a week, maybe two. Then, it also depends on your body weight. If you're real thin and tall and blah, 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 take the one teaspoon. If you're a little bit bigger, if you're really tall and bigger, then, or a little overweight, then you may want to consider taking um, a little extra. You know, maybe twice a day, teaspoon twice a day. You want to graduate yourself up to a tablespoon. That's the key. A tablespoon a day is pretty much where you want to be. The reason why I want you to go slowly is because of the detox. I mean, I've heard stories of people going, oh man, I'm just going to go for it. And they wake up in the morning on an empty stomach and they'll take like two tablespoons of diatomaceous earth and they're miserable for the next three days because of all the crap that was in their body that's surfacing. You know, you'll start sweating and it's just terrible. It's not, it's not fun. So go slow. Take it really slow. And do your own research. Read up on it. Ignore the false information about how it works. But focus on what it does because what it does... I haven't read anybody's opinion that is false. You know, there's a lot of people speculating it doesn't, it doesn't, it does. It does. And it really, really is amazing. It's kind of hard to find in stores, so you'll probably have to order it online. Amazon, of course, has really good deals. Um, you may want to put it in your cart until you've got enough stuff in there that you want to get because it's one of those things that because it's heavy, um, it's going to be expensive for shipping and handling. Sometimes the shipping and handling is almost as expensive as the diatomaceous earth itself. If you have any questions or you want to know more information about diatomaceous earth, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to get back to this uh, post and answer it for you. If you have any other nutritional questions or things like that, man, ask away. I am 47 years old. I was 35 and got food poisoning. My hair turned gray. My skin changed. I was sickly all the time. I became lactose intolerant. It was horrible. Terrible, terrible food poisoning. It was from a sandwich shop, too. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, so it's taken me a long time. I mean, I started out with colostrum, with L-glutamine. I mean, I've tried everything to get myself back to where I think I should be. And then I discovered food-grade diatomaceous earth. And it's changed everything. I haven't lost my gray hair yet, but I kind of like it. I've kind of gotten attached to my gray hair. But what it does do... That's less than a year, and that should be the proof. It makes your hair grow. Thanks. See you next time.